Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the definition of an argument and determine whether an argument uses inductive or deductive reasoning. Before watching this video, you should have already seen the videos that introduced inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning. Let's get started. First, what is an argument? Well, an argument has two parts, a premise, that's an assumption, law, rule, or observation, and a conclusion. A conclusion is something that's obtained inductively or deductively from the premises. There are other words besides premise and conclusion, um, so just be aware that based on whatever textbook or your professor or your teacher, they might have different words, but generally there's the first part and the second part. The premise and the conclusion is what we're going to use here. Okay, so in each argument, we're going to identify the premises and the conclusion. Then we're going to tell whether the argument is an example of inductive or deductive reasoning. Okay, so our first example, all smartphones have a built-in camera. I have a smartphone, therefore I have a camera. So this one has two premises. The first premise is this. So we're going to call this premise one. All smartphones have a built-in camera. Premise two is that I have a smartphone. So this is premise two. And the conclusion is I have a camera. This would be my conclusion. Okay, so that was part one, was kind of labeling each uh, sentence or statement. Now we need to decide, is this inductive or deductive reasoning? So remember, inductive reasoning, we make a conclusion based on observed patterns. Deductive reasoning, we take a known truth and apply that known truth to a specific example. In this case, the known truth is that all smartphones have a built-in camera. The specific example is me having a smartphone with the conclusion that I have a camera, so this would be an example of deductive reasoning. So this is an example of deductive reasoning. Okay, and our next example, all flamingos that I have seen are pink in color. Therefore, all flamingos are pink in color. All right, so first we're going to identify here's a premise right here. There's only one this time, so this is our premise. And our conclusion is that all flamingos are pink in color. Okay, so I've labeled the various parts of this argument. Now we need to decide, is this an example of inductive or deductive reasoning? Well, given the premise is that all flamingos that I have seen that I have seen indicates that this is just me making a, a conclusion based on my own personal experience. This would be an example of inductive reasoning. This is inductive reasoning. Okay, and last but not least, the members of the Smith family are Artie, Bitsy, and Corduroy. Artie has brown hair. Bitsy has brown hair, Corduroy has brown hair, therefore all members of the Smith family have brown hair. All right, we've got quite a few premises here. First we have the list of the uh, family members of the Smith family, so this is premise one. Then we know that Artie has brown hair, that's premise two. Bitsy has brown hair is premise three. And corduroy has brown hair is premise four. So this one had four premises. And then the conclusion is that all members of the Smith family have brown hair. So this is our conclusion. What do we think? Is this inductive or deductive reasoning? Based on the four premises, this is actually deductive reasoning. Uh, because we're given the facts that we know all, the entire family was Artie, Bitsy, and Corduroy, and each one of them had brown hair, we can say, okay, well, based on that, we can make this conclusion that everyone in that Smith family has brown hair. So this one's a little bit tricky, but it does go through every single person and it says something about them. And that thing is true for all of them. So that is an example of deductive reasoning. 